Okay, this is the first problem in their exercise one Kristen doc that that um, takes a look at all of the charts that go along with fixed variable and then mixed costs. And it's and even though you can say it and think, oh yeah, I understand this and move on, you're best to really look at it and and make sure that you're really clear that like your total fixed costs, for example, total fixed costs are going to be a flat line, but the fixed cost per unit will decline as the volume goes up because that's your denominator. Okay, so be just really, really, so it's something that you totally understand. And what that means is that, for example, if you are in a company that allocates a fixed cost, and if the volume goes down, your cost per unit is going to go up. And that's going to make profit margins look worse and, and all kinds of things, but um, you know, that's really a product of absorption costing, and if you were using variable costing, it would be better. But um, but this 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 act this motion right here can cause a lot of poor management decisions for what it's worth. Okay, then total variable costs. It makes sense that that goes up like this. But this is the one that people don't remember. Okay, that your variable cost per unit is fixed. It's it's one. It's steady. You know, it's one number. <clears throat> And then this is a step fixed cost here. This is a, um, you know, they've got a new range. They move beyond their relevant range. And if they do, they're going to have another big hunk of fixed costs. You know, maybe they've got to rent equipment or rent a, um, rent a building or something like that. Okay. Then the questions that go on here, like the first one is what's the cost equation? Uh, for the first one, first one, yeah, that we've got a, um, is it 150? Yeah. Or we've got a fixed cost of 150, so it would be y equals 150 plus 3x. Okay? So 150 is your total fixed cost. $3 is your variable cost per unit times the number of units. Okay? The equation thing doing here is makes a lot of sense. Um, what, what are the total costs of 30 units? Okay? That would be your fixed cost plus 3 times, nine, times um, 30 units. Okay, if, and if the equation is goes up to be between 41 and 80 units, then we've got the new fixed cost here. It goes from 150 to 280. It's this number right, right there. Okay, there's 280. That's our new fixed cost. Okay, I don't mean to beat it to death, but um, I just want to make sure that you don't don't blow this off. Okay, make sure that it's really clearly in your head. Okay.